some minutes. some honey starting in less than a minute have some real badasses playing today Naka Hirozam MOL Artemiev Mamidyarov etc etc Seconds. All right, time to get a little bit more comfortable. And here we go. Why there is no sound? There is sound. Okay. I won't be able to talk much. Uh, hi Martin Koch, hi Grizzly. I won't be able to talk much today. Generally, you should be able to grab the spawn in general. square and with the Spanish bishop. It's a bit of a chicken move, but mm, it's 95 coming. I don't know if he wants to take, take, 95 maybe. King e7 looks normal. here stuff but you know he closed his bishop it's good news for us b4 we can play even probably at some point we have to reroute this knight probably again hmm B3 looks pretty strong, but then can I play C4? I don't know. Maybe B8 is also very interesting, but let's take it. Although it's probably not the best move, yeah. 
Yeah, probably I should cut by something simpler. from this dude. Probably a good idea not to blunder e5 at some point. Thank you, Mr. Steffo. I appreciate it. Bishop c5, like so many moves to win this game. Yeah, he is just uh, giving me everything. Yeah, good man. Good man. Um, hi, Andromeda. Rook fb8 after c3. Alright, let's check it out. Right. Let's check it out. I don't know. Okay. So knight d2, knight a5, c5, standard, knight f1. And usually you should be able to grab the pawn on a4, which I mentioned, but you gotta be really careful and have to be very accurate after a move like ba4 because you permanently ruin your pawn structure, right? So if you're not careful, then white ends up better. So I just played bishop e6, just to be safe. Knight d3 was good, b4 was probably safer, yes, queen d7. And he should probably have played bishop d2 first, forcing me to play b4 and then knight to d5. But the way he plays this b4, he allows me, he should have taken with the bishop, of course. Yeah, because then I forced to take the bishop and then he at least he has um, b4, yeah, knight b7 was probably better, but yeah, you're correct, rook fb8, I didn't see rook fb8, yeah, rook fb8, I was wondering about rook ab8, but I didn't think about rook a fb8, queen b7 also, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, it's good, yeah, yeah, I was more worried about that the spawn will become sort of weak on b4, so he'll play something like bishop c4 maybe, uh, that apparently the computer doesn't care about that and then followed by b3 right because then I have sort of a problem uh, what to do with my pieces but uh, he also has a problem I don't know the computer evaluates this as better for black probably he's correct because you have by far CP repawn structure this knight on a5 is on the rim though yeah I don't know, this is very computer like line 
I, I, um, I find it very difficult to do any progress here for either side. All right, so let's see what what what, what happened. I just took on c3 and white is back in the game. Yeah. Bishop d8 was probably better. Knight b7. He plays. Yeah, and white is better because now he has control of some squares. He could have played a5. Bishop c4. Put the knight on e4. Yeah, and that he could have done that. Hi Vlad, how are you? Uh, thank you, Jill. Спасибо. Uh, first game, yes. Um, all right, so let's see. He played b4. Bishop f6. Not the best move. Rook fc8 was, of course, better. Obviously. He bring the rook. Uh, the, the whole point was that I, I felt that he wanted to take on c5 and play d4. So I was basically trying to play my opponent here. And uh, yeah, but he could have just played bishop c4 or, or something. Yeah, because after taking here, then obviously, uh, obviously black is fine because my knight is on c5 and now knight a4. I was more worried about bishop b4 or something, but then apparently e4 anyway, right? So, yeah, because after this, this is just basically a bad position. I mean, he should have played rook c4 and taken here, but uh, overall, pair of strong bishops, right? f4 maybe, bishop b2, why not? Trying to prepare a3, bishop connection here. Bishop b1, rook f8. Yeah, I mean, at least white would have some some sort of counterplay. Yeah, it would not be lost completely, like in the game. All right, so that was the first game. Let's see what's going on in the world. Nak is playing against I am. Wins. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's the reason why if I play uh, Pierce, I play. I don't play it like that. I play c5 in those lines. Uh, Ukraine, fm. Right, when I see fm, I am becoming very uh, anxious. That's interesting. G5. It's been a while since somebody tried to attack me like that. But there were cases, I remember them. Okay, there were cases, that's true. Alright, first of all, let's trade this guy. We need to... We need to eliminate a very strong piece, which is bishop on b7. Because if he plays d5, then he closes his bishop, I'm happy with that. Alright, so after this trade... I'm happy, because now he has potentially weak pawn in the endgame. It's a long ways to the end game, of course, but still, still, we're looking forward to that. Hmm. So how he can give me a mate? If he just opens some files, so I need to open his queen side maybe a little bit. I'm thinking c4, a5 maybe, or a5. Some kind of move there. Okay. Knight to d2, probably. Now that he played a five, 
I can actually think about playing e4 here. And also, of course, bishop h4 comes to mind. But I like this e4 break in the center. And anyways, this rook on f1 doesn't look very hot. So e4 looks good. Bishop h4. Ah, but he attacks my pawn on g2. That's not good. That is clearly not good. Um, if he can attack this pawn, I'm not very happy. Hmm. Just knight h2 this guy. This is actually very tricky. That queen f6. Probably rushed into that. Probably rushed too fast into that um, thing. Probably smart approach. Just wants to keep this knight on g4. It's a pretty smart approach. Um, all right, this is actually tricky. This is becoming tricky. We need to get rid of this knight on g4, but it's not simple. God, did they just blunder my bishop? Uh, fine, just give him this bishop. Just give him this bishop. Trade the queens.
Okay. Pre-move. Killed you, man. Alright, let's see the accuracy level of this guy. Sure, man. Accuracy level... 91% accuracy level from the FM, yeah. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. C3, okay, it's not easy. Queen F6. Uh, F4, Bishop H6, Queen H6, Wait, Knight H2, and black is better now, yeah. 3. Even though the comp says it's a mistake, I don't think so. Five top three lines idea. Okay, here I panicked. Match is six, of course. Well, queen d3 is uh, logical, but queen e4 is also pretty strange. Yeah. B5 second line. G7 normal, queen c2, e5, rook e5, yeah, first line, okay, first line, rook e8 here, second line, okay, yep. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the tip. Um, yes, for the FM, 91% is way too much. It's enough. It's grounds for me to to report him, especially the way he played the game. I I I felt that I am not playing against the FM. Okay. It's also about the inner feeling that I get. It's also about that inner feeling that I get from playing the game. Okay, I have no choice, I gotta take this thing. Now we're playing this end game. Hmm. 
It's not the end game, but it feels like one. I need to trade queens with this guy, probably. Like he is very solid. The reason I play a6, of course, to prevent the knight going to b5. So I'm playing this like uh, hedgehog formation, but it's not exactly hedgehog. It's not even hedgehog. This way, okay. Yeah, this way is probably stronger. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, my king is suddenly starting to feel some heat, of course. Suddenly he's starting to feel some heat. Hmm. Well, queen b2 check 95 is very unpleasant. Six. That I completely forgot about. This move I completely forgot about. Croatia. This guy is from Croatia. Oops, let's not give him the whole rook, yeah? Let's not give him the whole rook.
My god, no, my god, what the fuck, man. Blundering the whole freaking rook. Shit, man. That's the famous Ryan. Pfft, Jesus Christ. Okay, lucky to make this draw. Do this guy. It's antique. I never heard of this guy. All right, what's his accuracy level? Anywhere near near ninety percent, that's pretty wrong. Eighty six percent. Fine. We'll give you a benefit of the doubt. Okay, so this position is close to equal. So nine C five immediately, yeah. And I should just probably stand and wait for him to play knight e3. Queen e4, as I mentioned before, trying to trade the queens was good. e5 was definitely not a good move. He finds the best move. And he finds knight b4. Which is best move? No, rook d6 is best, but I think knight b4 is pretty human. A rook, what did he play? He plays, um, he plays rook d6, right? Rook d4, but I don't know, rook d6 is very human. e3 is not very human. Now queen b2 check was probably winning. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about that. Queen b2 check, king h6, and then knight d5, yeah. Knight d3, queen f6. Yeah, so I was worried about this. I think it was pretty much winning for white. Knight g4 coming. Yeah, so the fact that he didn't play this uh, gave me hope that I'm playing human. And white still has huge advantage, of course. And then, of course, he blunders this thing. Yeah. Rook a6 was the move. Why didn't he play rook a6? Question. Oh, wait, queen is protected. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, so this is completely, completely, completely winning. Blah, 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 blah. Completely minus five, right? It's just winning. Maybe one. Rook e2, anything wins. Rook e2 just wins immediately. He should have played queen d8, and I thought it was winning, but okay. Queen c5 check also wins, right? Just trade the queens. Next time, just trade the queens and, and, and win this position. Okay, not bad. Fine, accept this draw. Being played by a human, by humans. Uh... Blunder knight and quit early. Not sure about that. So round number four, what did I do? Made one draw so far. Not bad. Um, I'm playing. It's kind of important to see who I'm playing. Lithuania. No idea. His name? It's kind of weird. Okay, let's see. Infamous Tory attack is coming. I 
try to drink the very very famous story attack is coming to a town near you the idea of this move to prevent c5 yeah Ooh. so we're gonna have a battle of plans here the battle of the plans H3 is kind of looking okay here. And you leave the queen here so he doesn't have H5. So I think that's good. So then goes to C2. Uh, potentially black might have some sacrifices somewhere. Gotta keep that in mind. Okay, probably b5 has to be played. And we need to get our minor pieces there in the action zone. Again, trying to prevent c5. So queen stays there at some point. Um, he wants to take maybe. Maybe he doesn't want to take, who knows, but now we can probably just take this guy and play knight c5 here. And now we're ready for rook b1, rook b7 action. So let's see if he's uh, able to do something before my rook arrives on b7. Right, because bishop, because this bishop takes on the square on b8, right? So rook b7 looks pretty nasty. And that's why Tor attack was so popular because, again, you're playing for the bad bishop on g7. Somebody asked me yesterday, why are you playing uh, against pieces? Because uh, compare those bishops, right? If, if black, uh, if white wins strategical game, but the black mates white king, then no, ma no mount material is going to help you. And the reason the queen stays on d1 with the bishop because it prevents h5 and g4 here. So he's trying some last ditch effort thing with the king g8 h5 maybe. And we can basically play f3 in such case. And we're gonna show you that the setup is kinda wrong for black. Um, bishop d3 or just grab the pawn for now. No need to rush. Knight e4, knight e7 looks good. Bishop h5 looks good. My 
god. Just grab this thing. Really? Okay, bishop e5 looks good. I just give him too much counterplay. I probably did, yeah. Right, he finally managed to get some counterplay. Uh, this guy somehow beat big fish. Well, the, you, you guys have to understand something. There is huge pressure on the top guys to consistently play at the top level. I am sort of an amateur now because I don't study chess at all. I should basically play based on my 93% accuracy from me is not bad. All right, so the critical moment is here, of course. See, the computer likes white position. I like white position also. B5, correct. So this king h7 is probably the start of the wrong plan. See, the computer plays queen c8 with the idea of g4. The computer realizes you have to play g4, otherwise you're doomed. And knight b3 looks okay. And see... Black has to be very accurate. If he doesn't play accurately, then he just one move and the valuation jumps like really high. Knight a6. And oh, but it's very difficult to find bishop e5. It is very difficult. If I saw this bishop e5, I would I, I, I don't think I could find knight b7 though. But I, I did not see bishop e5, I'll tell you this for sure. This is one really badass move. Although Obviously, white keeps advantage still here, especially after bishop g4, because black gets this hole in f5, and he cannot take this bishop because the pawn takes. Look at this. Um, look at this f line. Look at this knight on c5 and knight on g6. You see the difference between two knights? It's huge. Rook c7, preventing knight d7. Rook f5, king g7, rook a f1. Suddenly, white switches to the attack on the king side now. And then h4, right? And suddenly, boom, white is attacking. All right, so, but if he doesn't play this, he played this and then rook b1. And I played f3, which is first line, because as soon, because, you know, his rook and king are awkward, and then you're just opening lines for your rooks. That's the moment when you know your game is won, okay? Strategically. Yeah, because he plays king g8, 97, says mistake but it's still plus three so it's not a huge mistake yeah this is this is oh rook f5 of course of course my god rook f5 and bishop g6 and a huge threat of queen b3 check wins the game uh queen b3 anyway right yeah all right so i messed that one up i played bishop e5 knight h4 Rook f7 wins on the spot because queen d6, rook g7, king g7, queen f7 mate, yeah? Yeah, but, you know, I'm trying to be safe, so I play queen f7, it's only plus, it's only, yeah, rook f7 and g3 just wins the game again. Bishop f7 is the most stupid move you can think of. Um, still winning, yeah, f4. Yeah, he should have, should have taken the four, but I think it's still winning. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, trying to be extremely solid. All right. So we have Hiroza four out of four. What happened to Nakamura? 
I'm three and a half. I am again next to Kuryakin. Artemiev also lost. What happened to Nakamura, guys? Um, also beat Swiller Super Swiss 15 months ago. Big Fish is really safe. Um, thank you, Sir Zoki. Semislav with white reverse Semislav. Correct. But with the tempo up. Tempo, tempo is a huge thing. But what happened to Hikar? A draw? Ah, maybe, because I don't see the full uh, full list here. Yeah, I see only top 30 here. That's all I can see. Yeah. Jabava gave up 2 out of 4. Um, well, this is a very strong tournament, guys. You have to realize. Also, a lot about luck. Okay. I want to see who our team drew. doesn't let me all right let's do it this way yeah I want to see Vlad made draw with who okay oh Gotham chess is playing also okay he made a draw with an IM okay those pesky FMs and IMs oh my god he actually drew the national master are you freaking kidding me are you kidding me? The National Master made a draw with the Artemiev. Okay. Both players had chances. All right, let's see it. Artemiev is playing B3. He's developing his own system here. That's interesting. Actually, I think he took it. Well, it makes sense. It's like Nimzo, but uh, much better Nimzo, right? You get this attack and obviously white is better yeah okay so gotta be careful here e4 is a natural move and something that you wouldn't think of playing twice but it's also sometimes not that great so you have to be careful queen f3 is safer yeah because then you sort of uh, leave yourself an option of playing knight to c4 but e4 is okay so bishop d6 now he has to find bishop a3 which he didn't find and now black is clearly better so white has to find bishop a3, which is the only move, to keep his advantage going, right? Take. Queen e5, knight d7, queen g4, queen f3, very good, and queen d6 is met by e5, and that's how white keeps an advantage. Okay, so bishop e3 is standard, uh, but knight g4, I think he missed f5. f5 would have been even stronger, but for the national master to find f5 move is basically tantamount to admitting that he's using an assistance okay so that's why he plays f6 and now of course the game immediately goes uh, in white's favor big time i like this e5 followed by knight e4 trick because look at black bishops they are both very very bad bishops the idea is you have this check on f6 yeah king h8 then is basically oh queen g6 beautiful beautiful nice guys memorize this idea this is very powerful queen g6 wins mate all right okay so artemiev was not familiar with this idea so he played queen of queen e6 and now black is better i don't understand why he didn't play rook f1 that makes a lot of sense right just play slowly then bishop c1 and strangle your opponent. Obviously, he was afraid of f5. But now you have queen h4 and the pawn is protected. Also, if black allows e5 here, then this bishop on a6 is completely dead, right? He has absolutely nowhere to go. So, but he took this pawn and uh, he decides to play e5. Queen f5 is a very bad move. Although it is a third line. Because, he, yeah, he just blundered that queen on e6 is now... See, that's... Yeah, that's still pretty amazing play by National Master. Uh, h6. Looks okay. Knight e4. Bishop e5. Not bad. Bishop c8 is, uh, of course, the Grandmaster move. Taking this pawn on c5. I like bishop a3 or rook e1. Because now he just gave the exchange, yeah? And he went in, into the endgame. Very smart play by Artemiev. He realized he is much worse, so he goes into the endgame. 
I think King F2 was had to be played because Black just infiltrates the second, but after Bishop D4 and C4, he's okay. Again, a uh, very very strange game to be honest. Very very strange game. But a national master to play like this. Okay, another high rate of the fam. Doesn't sound good for me. Doesn't sound good to me at all. Okay, three preventing uh, stuff here. Yeah. All right, I understand. Uh, well, a five probably is a good idea anyway. I think it's a good idea anyway. And then probably you want just to play castles and play rook e8, yeah. Or d6. d6 actually makes more sense now. Now we're gonna go for the standard. Um, can play e4. Hmm. Okay. What am I going to do with this guy? This is one of those very tricky structures. Could be good for black, could be bad for black. Hopefully it is good for black. Okay, so he's just uh, sort of standing still. Uh, H5, maybe. 
I don't like bones moving like that, but um, gotta do something. I just blundered, I think, yeah. Yeah, I just blundered. Alright, I'm gonna report this guy, obviously. Obviously, I'm going to report this guy. That he found the way in. He found the way in. Dude, you are reported. FM, sure. FM, man. Pretty obvious. Reported. Ninety five freaking percent accuracy from the freaking FM.
Yep, already better position for white. Pair of bishops, strong center. Should have played a four, of course, but this is already better for for white. Okay, two first line. Yeah. All right. Oh man, playing Greg. I mean, that's how Karana played against me in Bundesliga, except he didn't play g5, he played the knight h5, yeah, but okay. In this case, probably a good idea to take this thing. Just play this structure. Yeah, I can get some squares. I get some squares too. Mm. All right, I'm doing something definitely wrong here. I admit it. He's got very nice play here. Rookie two, eh. Rookie two sucks. Playing terrible chess. Blundering stuff, yeah. Okay, I got really pissed off after this last guy. Really, really pissed off.
here the true pawn grabber. Can't give him that. He's a true pawn grabber. There are false pawn grabbers, but he is a true one. Ooh, rook e3, I like that. It's very powerful. And everything is gaining also, yeah. With the check, gentlemen, with the check. He's completely winning. Completely winning, of course. I like this. This is possible too. Can't even protect my rook here. He let me off the hook. Yeah, that was that was that 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 Russian FM she should be he shouldn't be freaking banned. Guys like that they ruin completely good tournaments for no reason. There's no point playing. Anymore. One loss like that, and that's it. You're out. But I need to see this game. I mean, I was still affected, probably. Very likely. Oh my god, I missed Night G5, guys. Jesus Christ. Night G5 just wins. That's the reason why Black doesn't play this. Yeah, I mean, Greg just played it, but it's some that doesn't, that's just not possible. Yeah, Knight of 3 just uh, completely busted. Ah, okay, wait, not completely busted. Ah, so it's not easy, yeah? That's Queen of 6, and Queen G6, and Black is okay. Ah, alright. So maybe it's not that simple. 
So bishop d3 is okay. e6, he wants to take on d5, play f5. I felt that I couldn't allow that. Castles, knight e6. Yeah, black is doing very good here. I have to admit it. Rook e1. Very complicated position, but you have to play bishop d5 here. Yeah, I agree. You have to play bishop d5 here so you can put this knight on c4, etc. So black plays g4, he plays knight h4, and you can go f4 here, or knight f1, because you keep the uh, control of the d5 square. Yeah, this is a very complex position. It's hard to play this well. I, I, I wasted two important tempi playing a4, a5, and now black is good. Yeah, also knight h2, what was that? I was hoping for knight f1, knight e3, but obviously I don't get time for that, so knight h4 had to be played, and after knight e5, yeah, just bishop d5, probably, because if knight d3, then uh, rook e3. Yeah. I mean, it's a very complicated position, but okay, now we know how to play this, yeah? Yeah, this is terrible. Now black is just much, much better. Also, knight f1 is absolutely terrible. Just the... just... yeah, when, 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 you've, when you're down, it's like uh, you, everything starts to slide, yeah? So, Ooh. okay. I'm playing some Indian kid. My wife plays excellent chess. What are you talking about? Sometimes she plays better chess than me. Okay, A4, cool. Just knight E4. I think that's like the easiest way to play this position. Just trade stuff and equalize, yeah? Yeah, the thing is, the, the London system is like black is, when, when they see Nakius looking opening like that, black, uh, white starts to think, oh, I gotta punish him for this. I gotta punish him for this. What is this opening crap stuff, yeah? But in reality, it's just another normal opening. Uh, I don't think you can punish it really much. It's just another opening. Okay, e4. Looks interesting. I'm just going for b5 thing, whatever. So I'm playing this like Reti. He's always uh, he's obviously playing like something here as well. Uh, b5. See, he tries to improve his bishop. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Pretty much equal position. Equal position. All right, interesting move. Uh, interesting move. So if I play c4, and I play e6. Should I play e5? Maybe yeah, let's play five. Because I got this uh, pawns in the light square, so I'm not afraid to put one of my pawns on the dark square. Okay, because uh, potentially if my knight gets to d3, it's like uh, very good for me, yeah? Bishop h6, probably good idea. Um, rook e8. If he wants to trade my bishop, let him trade it. So I'm trying to provoke white into playing some sort of a weakening. Uh, 
should be okay. Now you know. Well, I've been playing this for a long time. This way. Okay, I kind of like to trade queens. Cover the seventh. Before we, before we go berserk. Okay. It's an interesting move. Feeling I'm not doing something right here. I get this feeling I'm not doing this right. Okay. Well, if you give me a pawn like that, I'll take it. That's why you don't take drawers, even in the dead drawn positions, because your opponent always can misplay it. See how he completely misplayed the equal uh, rook end game, yeah? Because he's probably a kid with no knowledge of the end games. I noticed that a lot of Indian kids they uh, they, they spent a lot of they put heavy emphasis on the openings and the middle games, but they don't really do that well in the end games. Yeah. Okay. How many rounds was that? That was round number seven. Yeah. Firuzala lost half a point. Nakamura is back. And I. Why is this not updated? Let's update this. All right, let's update this. Where am I? 
Yeah, I'm somewhere like five and a half out of seven, probably. Yeah. So I'm like way. So what happened to that Russian guy that um, killed me? The freaking Greg played ninety seven percent accuracy. Not bad. So what happened in this game? So Big Fish beat him and he has 71% accuracy. Yeah? Nice tactics. Oh, he just lost completely. Yeah. All right, now that's an FM play. Now he played his uh, true ability. Son of a gun. Of course, this game will stand. It's gonna show, oh, I lost to this guy. I played so badly. And then the other game, I was so lucky. The standard excuse. Freaking bullshit. Okay. Never mind. Small break after this round. I need to get some food, so let me get some food. I'll be back. Uh... There's storm and chat, right? Where are the announcements? They usually announce how many, um, how much time you have before next. Um, supposedly after rounds four, seven, and ten, right? They have some breaks. So I'm waiting for the break. Hi guys, thank you. Hi Leslie. Hi Manny. Sorry. Um, yeah, standard Russian FM, 90% accuracy rate. Where are you streaming from? I'm streaming from uh, France. Oh, thank you very much. How are you? Normal, right? Ah, thank you. Thank you, So I got some chocolates. Tomorrow I'll get a better chocolate, hopefully. With some hazelnuts. No. Pay him up. Okay, the six minute break has started, yeah? Hi, Leo Ramir. That was some honey. Moving back to Europe? What do you mean back to Europe? I've been staying in Russia for the last five years and now we moved to France so my wife can uh, study in the university. Obviously I'm trying to be next to my wife so is that really too much to ask? Okay, so we have four people at the top with six and a half out of seven. We have some people with six and out of seven, including Firuza and uh, wait, Nak Nak is back at six and a half, yeah. So what happened uh, with this guy? Who did he drew with? He drew with the advantage, and he drew where the not. Okay, ninety-eight percent accuracy rate. My God. 
These are the monsters. And they're playing until Bear Kings, yeah. Ooh, 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 Italian stuff. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. I don't understand this game. What is going on here? I don't understand these moves. Need to take them s b4. If knight e4, then e6, which is also okay, I think. Knight e6, knight f5, bishop b4, okay. Knight g3, with idea of f5, e6, okay, that looks good. Queen h4. Oh, he missed queen d4, check. Ah, that's why king h1. And then f5, yeah. So, take, take, c3, bishop c5, very good. And now black is back in business, yeah. Knight g3, hg3, take, take. Does he have to take? Otherwise, white plays e6. So, okay, so he takes, takes, castles. There is no e6, g4 must be played. Rook e8, followed by h5 or g6. I think g6 is more accurate. But no, the computer says it's about equal, yeah? So h5 actually better. The idea is that um, c5, h is e6, bishop c8. Look at this king on d4. Wow. Really one badass king. Oh, thank you, Sonoshka. Thank you. Thank Nice, rook b8. And this looks like a draw, yeah? Yeah. Look, in games like this should be draw. Okay. Fair enough. Now that was some good chest. Hmm. What is my wife studying? She's studying languages. Leon Beast, look at how well your namesake is doing. We are sharing first and fourth place. All right. All right, I'm playing against another Russian CM, Vova Chess. Yeah, but you forgot to play a5, right? Now I'm gonna grab your bishop.
What is it that I'm blundering? That's a that's a question. I'm thinking bishop h3, g h3, queen g6 check, and if king h1, mm -hmm. All right. yeah, I cannot take this bishop. I cannot take this bishop. So I have to play safe with this fella. d3 is gonna come anyway yeah so queen f1 maybe I'm just trying to be very, very careful with these guys, not to blunder anything. He declines in the queen trade. Interesting. Does he want to flag me?
Alright, looks like a drain. Okay. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Ninety percent accuracy from CM. He's streaming. Let's see if he's streaming. Live. Арп поддержал на 555 рублей. Интересно смотреть. Удачной игры. Спасибо громадное за поддержку. Спасибо, Вальдемар. Вальдемар. Так, тут ничья. Двигаемся дальше. Так. Мечтал ты 10 лет назад ничего с гатой сыграть? Не, ну, конечно, лет 10 назад у меня был... Люди, у меня был третий разряд. Окей. Он стримит. Да. Файн. You're very lucky that I, I lost this Russian FM before. Very, very lucky. So I, I'm already scared to play this FM, CMs with the uh, 2700 rating because uh, you never know who you're gonna get. Mm. Mr. Ryzen, it depends if I want to... Uh, Stay in France. All right, let me just finish this tournament, okay? I mean that that Russian FM that made no no mistakes and played at 95, 93 accuracy rating was uh, just too much. He wants to take, take, yeah, I understand. So if I play 96 first. <clears throat> He wants to trade my my centerpiece. He wants to trade my stuff. Yeah. So probably have to trade this. Probably must trade this. And then 85 is a serious thing. So bishop e6. Hmm. I probably white is better, yeah. Probably white is better. Nothing I can do about that. C6.
but if you play like this, then bishop h2 is unpleasant, yeah? I mean, come on, man. You just blunder it in one move, the whole game. You can resign. I mean, positionally it's a great move, but tactically this move just loses in one. And this is an I am. See, this is I am, right? Well, which has, uh, well, I suspected him for a very long time, especially when he played in the Arena Kings. All right. But no proof. Can't say anything. No comment. Uh. <laughs> CM and FM are stronger than I am and GM. Yes. Okay, I don't know about наушник ухи. Непроверенная информация. Доказательство студию, please. Some people are saying he's got like this um, earphone, yeah, but um, no comment. I cannot make any comments. All right. Yeah. I mean, he is not bad, actually. Wovi Chess is actually not bad. He's very, very solid. I remember I was playing him Arena Kings before, two years ago. It was very difficult. But the fact that he is CEM, of course, it's ridiculous. He should be at least IM by now. If he plays like this, he should have been an IM and made a GM, GM norm or something. Yeah. The fact that he stays CEM, and even though he is in Moscow, right, there's so many freaking tournaments to play in, and he doesn't take part in those tournaments, is very suspicious. Um, should only let IMs and GMs know? Nope. I disagree. It's a title. You cannot discriminate. You gotta give chance to CMs, which are, you know, your honest everyday working chess playing CMs. Yeah. Savelli is, uh, we see Blitz top 50. Savelli is a very strong player. I actually played him in Blitz in World Chess Championship. I lost to him in the World Blitz Chess Championship. And then I saw an incredible, absolutely incredible match between him, between Golubov and um, Dominguez. Golubov was a pawn up, and uh, but uh, he, he could make no progress. So he was trying to flag Dominguez. At some point, uh, Golubov, he's also, he's, he's a little bit strange guy. I think he's, uh, he has some sort of mental disorder. So he is, uh, he's, he's very peculiar, right? And... Uh, so he starts banking on the clock and of course Dominguez starts banking back and uh, so their match starts you know to get very personal yeah both players are playing very personally Dominguez, Dominguez gets really angry I've never seen him angry that was the only time I've seen him really angry really wanting to kill this guy and um, he had to defend the worst position so what happened is that you know um, the Savelyev is, um, uh, Savely, yeah, Golbov. Um, well, what happened is that he was trying, he could not make no headway, and then he realizes his time is low, so he starts to switch to the defense. That's when he blundered one pawn, and soon he blundered another pawn, so he was worse, and then, of course, he realized he is worse, and he basically just uh, resigned, he kept banking on the clock, just out of spite, and uh, Dominguez, of course, won the game, and, uh, but it was incredible, of course. It was incredible. So Savelli is a very strong guy. Um, yeah. Anyway, so let's see. At the top, we have uh, some guys here. I am way, way behind, obviously. I don't even have six and a half out of nine. How, how many points I have? Um... Yeah, today I'm not very lucky with my pairings, yeah. Today I'm not very lucky with my pairings. One draw, second draw, one loss, one draw, 
So that was um, that's one and a half. So I lost two and a half points already. Two and a half points. So that means I am um, seven. Uh, I am um, six and a half out of nine. Yeah. So I should be somewhere here. All right. So I'm in the forty seventh place. But there are some pretty impressive people here also. Right. We have Orest. We have uh, uh, Bortnik, who is also pretty famous blitz player we have some Moskalenko and a will younger guys yeah we have Kriakin with six and a half out of eight so it's not a bad company so I, I need to win the last oh the, 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 actually they have 11 rounds when did they make 11 rounds it used to be 10 I don't understand when they did make 11 rounds all right also what happened to this uh, guy that killed me the Russian guy yeah I want I, I want to know I want to follow his career I want to follow his career and his games. So, okay, he lost to to Renato and he lost to uh, FM. He lost to a fellow FM. Cool. Let's analyze this game. Okay, details, analysis. I want to see this. Ha ha ha, 37% accuracy, my god. Yeah, he really toned it down. I, I messaged him that he should be ashamed of himself. Immediately after that, he lost the game to Fide Save. His accuracy level went really down. Ooh, we got some... something. Thank you for a tip, Mr. Big Gorillas. Chess round supposed to be even, doesn't matter. I don't know. Okay, hold on a second. I want to see the game between two FMs. The black FM. The, the, the player playing black uh, won this round, yeah. Basically, he just... Okay, hold on a second. Queen C5. So it goes between minus one and plus one, right? Because it's a very tactical position. All right, but we don't, have, we don't have time for this. So we, we, we got the game going. All right, I'm playing white again. I'm getting a lot of whites today as a compensation, I guess. He's gonna go for the main line, yeah? Okay. So we're going for the main line. In the Bundesliga, I actually just played E4, uh, not in the French League, I played E4, but I was playing E4 against a 2200 guy. I knew I caught him unprepared. So he was thinking, thinking, and then he came up with the next 20 moves with the top two lines. Of course, he was going often away from the board somewhere. But I can't prove anything. So. But I didn't like that. I didn't like the 2200 untitled player making 20 moves in the top two lines. And then I was in a lost position with White. Because he completely outplayed me. So it just doesn't happen online. Stuff like that. Okay. Alright. 95. Using the same thing. I think it's usually black does this uh, before taking on um, t4. Mm. All right, grab. Uh, there should be one, and then I'm left with the naked king. No, thank you. So just let's castle and play like this. We're gonna play like this. <coughs> still advantage white because my bishop is still stronger than your bishop. And the um, opposite color bishops in this instance is the nightmare scenario for black. It's definitely a nightmare scenario.
knight e4, bishop f4, knight e4 looks okay. In this case, knight d5, knight d6 looks good, but bishop f4. Let's just play normal. Twenty six looks good. Mm, he tries to do that, yeah. So I right, queen h three back. C four is probably smarter way to play this. Uh, Yeah, he's got serious counter play, I know. I love him a little bit too much, I think. A little bit too much.
Okay. Um, I don't know what happened here. He was trying to win too hard, probably. I uh, know I misplayed my game. At this point, I was better, yeah? I know I'm better here, but then... 23 was not probably that great. Yeah, probably I need to leave the knights on board, but I like knight d4. So this was all good. So 96, yeah, 96 I had to play. I was afraid that he's gonna play f6 some point, but um, 96 was actually the move. And rook c1 and get the c file. Queen g4 was terrible, I agree. And now black is better, yeah? Black is just better. So I had to play rook c1 here, just make a draw. Instead I played this really dumb move and black is obviously better. Yeah, still not so easy to win for black. I think this is actually a draw. Bishop d3 is winning, wow. Okay, so what was the drawing move? So queen b1 was good, yeah? Bishop d3 is winning because bishop f5 and then... Ah, and then queen h1 and uh, queen e4 or something. Yeah, queen e4, queen g4. Wow, bishop d3 wins. Yeah, now this is suddenly back, back in the game. Okay. Hmm. Four pawns. Okay. Why are you offering me a draw? Why are you offering me a draw, sir? You really confident in your position? Are you so confident in your position that you're offering me a draw? Okay, we'll see. We'll see if it's a draw or not. Um, I'm beginning to like my position actually. I think black is doing quite okay. I have beautiful knight on e5. Simply beautiful. I don't know. I think black should be okay here. 
Okay, 24. And I should play this move. I don't like it though. Think long and hard. Okay. Um, we just won London the game yesterday in over four hours with the word the board. I'm very happy that uh, how much will all of Anna's opening prep sell for Kramnik? Who knows? I don't think anybody cares uh, about the prep except the players themselves. So I have, I lost two and a half points, so I should have eight and a half points. 
Yep, I have eight and a half points, so it's a respectable score. Obviously, we have all the best people here. We have, of course, of course, we have a Russian FM. Of course. I mean, how can you not expect some Russian FM to be an absolutely top... Um, and he beat for the save, right? Of course. Uh, 92%, 97%. He beat... Uh, um, uh, he beat Mamedyarov with 97% accuracy, of course. And he beat uh, Fedosev with a 98% accuracy, right? I think it's becoming a joke. This, this kind of thing is becoming a freaking joke. You guys see that, right? Uh, you guys see this? 98% accuracy. Yeah, but he's an FM, okay? He's an FM. Let's see how this FM beats the Super GM. Let's see this. Let us see this. Uh, okay. Black equalize. First line. First line. King E7. First line. Pretty much self explanatory. Uh, rook. CG8. Now, this kind of move, gentlemen, this kind of move that was played through CG8, this move is the standard computer move which no human will play in a Blitz game. Okay? So, based on this move alone, you can ban this guy. Like, alright? There's no freaking way an FM will find Rook CG8 over the board in the Blitz game against the freaking Grandmaster. All right, so a move like this is a, is a standard engine move and this guy should be banned because of this, okay? Simply banned. All right, so he makes some moves of his own. Yeah, that's definitely... I, th I think Fedosev at this point understood what's going on, so he was very unhappy. And this trade is actually very bad for him, of course. Oh, e5 also. Top line, yeah? Top line. Why? Because there is uh, king e6. King e6. So easy. Give, give a pawn against the grandmaster. Find king e6. So natural, right? Easy. Easy. Even a, even a child can see this, right? My god. My god. All right, I hope this guy gets banned. He gets banned, hopefully. Okay. I don't care who he is. I don't care if he's streaming or not. This guy is 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 Rook C G A. This should be banned. Um. Yeah, Rook C G A is engine move, hundred percent. And, 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 and FM making Rook CGA just, just tells you enough that he is using unfair assistance, all right? Almost 99.9099. I don't want to say 100% because, you know, I don't want to be liable for something that I said. But I, I, I think that move is a very, very strong evidence. At least for me, it would be enough to certainly consider banning this guy. All right? FM, right? That's the problem. That's the problem. Oh, they dropped him from the list. Oh, they dropped this guy from the list. They dropped him. They dropped the FM, guys. They dropped this FM from the list, gentlemen. But he did his damage, right? He beat Fede safe in the last round. They did. He he did his damage. He took. Uh, he stole the points. Um, he stole the points. Very simple. But he, he already stole the point uh, from uh, Fedosev, right? And Fedosev is not making it into top 8 because of that. Because he lost a... Uh, he lost a f there, there he is. Alexei Sorokin, right? Alright. Uh... No, he's Russian. 
Yes, but uh, for moves like that, he should be banned. Oh, he... Uh, okay, but he beat Fedosev, but he lost to Leon Beast. Okay. Whatever. Whatever, man. But Rook CG8 tells you everything you want to know. About what kind of fam that guy is. Alright. And let's see how MFL... MFL is a top uh, top 5 player in the world. Uh, he, he can beat the engine. That's why... He... This guy, he 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 lost. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how he beat this guy. He plays g6, c5, first line. Bishop d7, knight c6. Okay, so he plays e6. The engine gives this. All right, so he started using his own brain, and obviously. Queen b6, knight b3. Uh, yeah, but he left the knight on... His knight on c6 is not that great, right? Rook d1. Black is still better. Black is still better. Not anymore, because he went with the wrong knight, right? He should have gone with the knight fd5, because he needs to open the bishop on g7. After bishop d4, this knight on f6 is a huge problem, because white gets back this bishop, yeah? Knight e7... Bishop f4. And knight d5 is the serious mistake because finally. Uh, knight e4. First line by Amovel. I'm impressed. Amovel proves why he is among the world's best. Yeah, he just waits for the best moment to push the pawn. Knight d6, a mistake, yeah? After b6, of course, if M sees this b6 move. And uh, black is... Knight f5, first line. First line, knight f5. How many of you would find knight f5 here? I'll be thinking about knight fd5, you know, centralized, right? Be very, very solid. Knight f5 uh, would, would come to my mind, but I would not probably play it. But this guy finds it. I'm curious how does he lose the game here. Oh, MOL is actually much worse now. Um, except this move. Yeah, 92 check, rook d1, rook c1. And uh, this unknown FM would be beating MOL. Okay. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, so uh, knight takes c6 is not the move. Right? Okay. Yeah, Samuel can... Okay, this is... This is lost. Finally. Finally! Still, this guy needs to be seriously uh, considered for banning. Uh, he has 8.5 out of 11. I have 8.5 out of 11. Guys! I ended up sharing uh, 11th place. Not bad. After meeting that uh, Russian and other FM, yeah? Yeah, but I, I, I can feel it for Fidesev who lost to this guy. Yeah, and because of that, Fidesev didn't get into the top, uh, top 8, which is required. Yeah, thank you for the big raids. All right, we have a raid. Anna Maha is raiding with the party of 110 viewers. Thank you so much, Anna Maha. Thank you. Wow, that's a one big ass raid. You know, since I'm old enough, I can, I can, I can curse a little bit. Yeah, not too much, but a little bit. And Anna Maha is old enough to take it. Yeah. Uh, it shows down for some Among Us with Sophie. Oh my God, Among Us! I hate that game. You guys know, you guys know that this game came comes out with a warning that it ruins friendships, right? Because you have to lie and you have to lie convincingly in this game, especially if you're playing an imposter, right? So I I don't I I don't have many friends, but uh, I still don't want to take a chance and ruin it by playing with some people. Ah, it's Maya. Oh, sorry, Anna Maya. Pardon me. Ah, guilty is charged. Anna Maya, forgive me. Um, Anna Maya swears like a sailor. All right, uh, maybe. How you befriended Frappuccino? Frappuccino is actually one of my moderators. Uh, 
Um, thank you for uh, subscribing, for gifting a subscriber. Anna Maya, correct. I got it. I got it, guys. I got it. It's now Anna Maya. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we were discussing uh, certain very suspicious characters here. Uh, you messed it up in the first few. Uh, are you serious? Frappuccino is a mod here? Yes, he is a mod here. Um, the ants in Anna are silent. What? 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 The ants in Anna are silent? If they are silent, what do you just say? Ah, Maya. My god, come on. Um, frap for mod, frap for coaster. I don't know. Um, anyway. Um, frap spams all channels asking for mod. That's... I don't know what he does, but he was a pretty good mod in my channel. He was behaving very nicely. Um, he, he got really excited one time when people uh, sort of said something to him. Yeah, so it's just Anna Maya. All right, good. Where's Anna Maha? <laughs> sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, no problem. All right, thank you guys for reading. Anna Maya, thank you so much. Um, thank you. Uh, we just had this tough title Tuesday. I was I, ha I was playing Vova Chess, uh, this uh, uh, FM Russian guy who just uh, completely neutralized any of my attempts to model the water. And then I lost to another Russian FM. And um, so, you know, it's, it's a matter of finding, of, uh, if you're lucky to face Russian FM, you can basically just, you know, you can say goodbye to the tournament result, yeah? Like we noticed with the save here, he lost uh, to this uh, Sorokin FM from Russia, who was playing at 97% accuracy and playing top line engine moves. All right. Um, okay. Olympiad, you're a great mod. Uh, Manish Kumar Sings, thanks, Super Stow. Um, all right, so we, not bad. Uh, we finished, despite those losses, despite those losses, we finished uh, tying for 8.5 out of 11, which is uh, sharing 11th place with people like Arian Tari, who just played in the Norway tournament with Magnus Carlsen, right? Uh, we're sharing uh, the place with Bortnik, uh, Gabrielian with, uh, with Jordan, right? Pansulai, uh, Zubov, uh, all, it's a very respectable result. Also the Spir Smirnov, Pavel, Mikhailovsky, right? Krikor, very respectable result, I would say. Verdenozil, Castor, of course, and Alexei Shirov, and also Uzbekistani guy, Chess Warrior, who I'm very surprised he finished with seven and a half out of 11. Actually, I finished above these guys, yeah? Because I had eight and a half. Ooh. All right, not bad. Um, Costa boosted his reputation by about a thousand of that percent. A privilege to be in a stream where Frap is a mod. <laughs> When's up battle with Anna Maya? Actually, that's a very good idea. Guys, uh, I'm quite open to the idea of doing a sub battle with Anna Maya. Yeah, so, uh, you know, can you tell Anna Maya's people to connect with my people and uh, we will discuss uh, how we can do this uh, on a lunch sometime, okay? Hi, Dilmans. Uh, do you not adopt Anna Maya because you cannot pronounce her name? Adopt? No, there is no adoption, guys. Uh, please uh, don't mention adoption. All right. Um, I'm a more classically minded person. I'm an old, uh, old school. I try to be old school. And in the old school, we don't uh, treat people to adopt adoption. I know it's kind of funny. It probably is uh, for the joke, but still. You know, she is a chess player, she is titled chess player, so huge respect for that, for all that work done. Um, yeah. Um, Animize people uh, uh, connect with Frappuccino. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, you have Frapp blocked? What did he do to you, man? He's, he's, he's cool. He's very cool. So, anyway, who are the top eight? The top eight are here. That means, um, oh, little peasants made it. Karyakin made it. Rasulov, Artemi, Filianov, Dubov, and of course Nakamura, right? Nakamura came back from a draw against some very suspicious character, but he managed to make it a draw. So that was good news for him. So I, I'm pretty sure they are now uh, playing Vidits. Is Vidit qualified again? I, I don't see Vidit here. 
in the list. My Mediarov came really close, but I'm sharing with my Mediarov also same place, yeah. So we're not doing that shabby. All right, gentlemen, uh, probably, okay, so since we have such a raid, if you guys want to play me, I will accept all your challenges, only chess. Three zeros, please. Make your challenges. All right. We are going back to Lee Chess. That's where I usually hang out these days. So, do your challenges. 3 0. I'll play viewers just today only. And, um, okay. All right. So, three zeros. Challenges coming. All right. Very good. I'm playing you guys for an hour or so. Whoa, 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 whoa what is this? No, uh, this is some seconds. What is this match? Oh, this is 0-3. Okay, I resign. You win. Uh, I, I don't play uh, bullets. Uh, that, that, that was 0. <laughs> Man, you switched 3 zero with 0-3. Zero okay. Yeah. ICC is good. I liked it. Uh, ICC is not bad. ICC has its moments. ICC is, uh, I remember those days, those were the glorious days of the battle, right? The days of the raiding wars, when people would just wake up just to play a chance to get your rating as high as you can. Yeah, people like Morozevich, Aronian, Grishuk, Nakamura, battling it all out for the sake of trying to get their rating up to 3,500, 3,600, yeah? Good times, guys. Uh, you can give time gain to opponents by command in ICC. You can do it also here. ICC is older than you. It is shocking, I agree. It's kind of shocking. Yeah, but it's kind of sad. Yeah, because they were the first. They should have... They should have continued to lead the online chess, right? But then they got swamped with all those... Uh, I don't know what they got swamped with, but... Eventually they got taken over, yeah, by chess.com and etc, etc. You have CMS. On chess.com you can take time from people, that's also pretty fun. You're 1200, 360, I'm try harding for 2200 feeder. Um, okay. Well, guys, it's okay. I mean, I don't mind losing. It's not the losing, it's the game, right? Don't hate the player, hate the game. Isn't that what they say? But he can still beat you sometime. Ooh. Kangaroo. Thank you for the peace. Always. When you have a bishop like that locked from all sides and he has no moves. Just be careful. Remind yourself that sometimes he, I can lose this bishop. Can he attack my bishop? And yes, there is a little pawn that can attack your bishop. All right. I'm pleasantly surprised that a lot of people actually have both chess.com and Lee Chess accounts. That makes it a lot easier for me to play, you guys, yeah? Because a lot of time people say, hey, I only play in chess.com or I only play in Lee Chess. Sorry, yeah, hasta la vista, baby, and that's it. Hmm. And that is it. This is very suspicious. Um, you're allowing me to do all these nasty things to your pieces. Okay, so it's a free free piece. Okay, good. All right, thank you for the free piece. Yeah, generally, you know, if I give you a check, try to blockade the check with the piece closer to your king, away from my pawns, yeah? Because that way you can keep some pieces without losing them, all right? 
just a small bit of advice there. Okay, you dare to play me c3, then queen a4 or queen c2. All right, I, I, I will try. Um, have you tried Fog of War variant on chess.com? Fog of War. No, but I also looked at that uh, ridiculously fun um, four pl player chess way on uh, chess.com. It looked very much like fun. So I might be open to try that sometime. Yeah. Um, I'm a big fan of the development, so let's do this. Uh, chat pause due to scroll, thank you. Go through, yeah, that is very fun as well. And I'm, Mai is a four player chess specialist. Ooh, four player chess Monday tournaments. Really? All right, so let's let's schedule some sub battles and some four player chess um, chess tournaments. Let's also try to get the guys like Ivanchuk. I think he will be very open to the idea of uh, trying something new. I think he is very open. He is uh, in that respect. I, I like Vasily very much. I I think he is um, great that he is able to accept new stuff, changes. Because when you get older. You get more conservative, right? So it's it's difficult to accept changes. But um, for some players like Vasily, it's uh, actually comes naturally. Okay. So can you imagine four-way chess with Vasily Vanchuk? Uh, some maybe Alexei Shirov, right? The man, the firing board himself. So there, there's a suggestion for Anna Maya, right there, to invite these gentlemen. For a perfectly fun night of four player chess. Yeah. And then, after that, you invite them to the Among Us and, and, and you kill them. Yeah. And you kill them with the imposter. Yeah. I think that will be a perfect way to end the evening. Um, four way chess. <laughs> Andromeda. You're very funny. Um, <laughs> Four-way chess. It's definitely not what you think I think you're thinking. Um, but it, it sounds like uh, potentially a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, yeah, he did. Uh, Good to see you streaming. Good to see you guys as well. Uh, all right, Olympiad, you're surviving. My God, you already survived for many moves. Uh, okay, not bad. Achievement. Yeah, but like everything, sometimes it gotta come to an end, yeah? All right. Uh, he lose one match in two moves. He teams with Hikaru. Who? Who did fine? Nakamura joined four way chess along with Agat made a month ago. Yes, I used to watch a little bit of him playing uh, in a team. I think was it uh, in a team with Levy, and then they were playing the uh, specialists of the four way chess with the. I think was it Bodez, and then. I think it was uh, Chiyu, yeah? So that was that was interesting match. I actually watched that game. It was quite incredible as like, you know, there's ganging. Ganging up, right? Like, if you... Uh, two players trying to check you at the same time. So you cannot avoid... Uh, you have to give up some piece or something, right? It was kind of kind of crazy. I mean, it obviously has nothing to do with chess. It's just the concept that you use, try to use the same rules. But yeah, it, it, it seemed like fun. Um, you taught Levy. Okay. Uh, Anamai was your partner for the World for Play Chess Team Championship. There is a World Chess Championship for that? My God, I'm in the wrong business. Uh, I should be playing. 
Yeah, if I if I switch, maybe I still have time to compete in the World Chess Championship level, yeah? Sounds like potentially a lot of fun. All right, wait a second. What is this? I'm getting squeezed here by this gentleman who is a member of my club. Uh, guys who have a club, it's named Pawn Grabbers Club. We do a lot of events. Simuls, arena thematic tournaments. Uh, hopefully in the near future we'll continue doing some lectures. Yeah, but it's not free for all though. Yeah, because... Uh, you know, it's COVID times, right? Things are not easy. So you got to be uh, my Twitch subscriber to join those events. But not all of them. Uh, you played with Aleriza 2, two players teaming together, not ganking together in 4PC. Can you post links here? Are you sure you can post links? That's fine. Uh, so people can uh, understand what we're talking about. That would be helpful. Teams is much more favorable. I believe you, man. I believe you. Okay, so very solid game by White. He keeps a hold of the center. His knights are, you know, taking away a lot of squares. My bishop on c8 is like this poor relative. Ah, but I found the plan. I have the place for the rook because White just played a4. And now my knight is getting this perfect square on c5. Perfect. Um, and for all the endgame needs, you have pass protected pawn. And white has a weak pawn on c4. So compare these pawns and you realize that black should have a serious advantage here. One thing is that for sure, white gets the square on b5 for his knight. Try to close the position. Right? Uh, but uh, he is very limited in what he can do on b5 because he has no targets. Okay. Great. Um, look is good, but. But. We have a but. Oh, I see Mosonj come Alright, usually I like to get rid of this uh, bishop here. Mmm. Okay, my wife just cooked me some nice dinner. And I am looking forward to this. Let's see. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah, normally you don't give up your good bishop. You play something like f4, bishop f3, try to go for the center. And yeah, yeah, that's what you should normally do. Because uh, the dark squared bishop, especially this one, is kind of a killer. You give me a little bit too much, man, yeah? Well, because you're a nice guy, we know that. Alright. Okay. Well played so far by Moskva. Dukis, my god. You got, do, you, do you know that a lot of people started playing your line, your line against me in uh, London system? I almost killed Naka uh, in the last title Tuesday, but then I blundered the whole bishop. He went for this queen b2 line like you did. Almost. Yeah, he, he went a little bit earlier than, than usual. So, but I blundered the whole bishop in the position with plus 3 out of 12 moves. Out of 12 moves, I was plus 3 against Naka. I was like, oh my god. I was so disappointed I didn't win that game. But life happens, right? Uh, okay. Right. All right. Again, thank you for the raid, gentlemen. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed some chat here. And um, I'll play you guys a little bit more. And then we will have to call it a night sometime. So we're going to stay here for another 20 minutes to make it nice round number. And then we're going to raid. So prepare prepare the raiding target. We're going to raid somebody. 
Uh, you played with style, but I did not understand your win position. Okay. Uh, you played with style. You know that reminds me of the famous Russian uh, uh, bard, uh, Vasotsky. He's like super, super famous in Russia. He's still, he is still very famous, even though he has been gone from this world for like, I don't know, 20 years maybe. Yeah, but he's still very, very super popular. And uh, he's singing this uh, famous song uh, about the um, chess and, uh, and Bobby Fischer, in fact. So if you can get a chance, Rage Jabava. That's an interesting suggestion. Definitely interesting suggestion. Um, yeah, so if you want to know more about that uh, bard, just look him up on some wiki. Or maybe there is some something on YouTube. I highly recommend that you get a lot of fun listening to his song. Uh, raid, uh, you want me to raid King's Crusher? <laughs> the one and only, the very famous, the massive disaster, sort of, yeah? King's Crusher. It is possible. He did raid me quite a few times. Yeah. So it's like uh, solidarity among the streamers. We can do that for sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. So the question is, should I take the, this bishop on d3 or not? Because if I do, then it opens up a whole bunch of can of worms. Yeah. So let's. Offer white a chance to trade this bishop because now white has no attacking chances. I have very strong pair of bishops. This pawn is doubled, but look at this hole, right? Potentially, if knight goes to e3 in some way, it's probably game over. Uh, did Tal sack anything against you when you guys play 1990? He tried, but then of course you, when you play Tal, you know that any sacrifice he makes, stay away from it. Stay as far as possible away from those sacrifices. Repeat Bar's name is uh, the one and only Vladimir Vysotsky. I do appreciate you analyze your victory against Tal. It is analyzed in my book. You're welcome to uh, look at the analysis in the book. It's all analyzed there very nicely just for you Dillman you are giving me a very easy time today yeah and there are only two more challenges left I'm very surprised how many people are in the channel because I don't have the counter um, and we have only two challenges one challenge left Wow thank you thank you Dillman all right so Make up your mind, guys. We're gonna raid Jabava or King's Crusher. Type your favorite, um, type your favorite streamer's name so we can raid him. Okay. Yeah, I just want to play H3. Actually, I want to go into this. I just want to go into this line and. Um, Bishop f4. He's gonna go for this a6 b5 stuff. I understand that. But we're gonna go for this one. Ah. Maybe not a good idea. No, but you made it easier. You should have played b5. You know what I missed? After b5, e5, you have b4. That's what I missed. But now, of course, I play e5, and I think white is better. Yeah. But if you if you if you had found b5 before, and I think black is actually better there, yeah. So, you know, sometimes is experimenting uh, can go wrong. Nicholas Hashenbeth, but he streams in German. I would say fine goal, but he's offline. <laughs> well, we got a lot of choices. We got we now know a lot of popular streamers. I actually rated Ben a few times also. I think so. Yeah. Ben is good. Um, all right. 
So what this means, we're going to grab this guy. And we're going to play rook a7, right? We need to... We need to pin. Pin for the win. That is my strategy. Those of you who are in my club, they know this strategy. I play pin for win. You love Ben. Okay. Go Neem. What's Neem? King's Crusher. Alright, I got it. Let's see. Let's see who we have online on chess. Yeah, we have Nemo, we have Blitzstream, we have Krikor, Chibaba, and who else? Um, Fog of War, General. Cool. Alright, so we're gonna play last two games and then we're gonna raid. Alright? Last two games, gentlemen. Then we're gonna raid. Okay, James Blunder, I like that name, but King's Crusher looks... I haven't raided King's Crusher in a long time, so it's probably a good idea to raid him. Alright, so it's gonna be King's Crusher, guys. Just don't tell him. We want to be a surprise, right? Oh my god, people are playing A4, A5. Yeah, that's actually a very decent plan. But I like to play G6 and Bishop G7 setup anyway. And um, so we're gonna go and try to play this line. The idea is simple. We're going for f5. We are going for the invasion. We're going f5. Uh, knight d8 or knight a5. I think we need a tempo, so we're gonna play knight a5. Now we're gonna play f5. Yeah, because we need the tempo, otherwise white plays d4, takes, takes, and then he opens the rook. Now he can't really open the rook. Obviously, you take with the rook, right? Structure, remember your structure. Structure is good. Um, so now probably just f4, but then he can take, play bishop a3. Hmm. Knight c6 may be actually not bad here. Because I'm trying to put my knight on f4. Trying to do some damage. Uh, who raided me? Jababa is teaching carpool games right now, so it could, it could be interesting. Um, sent you a private message on Twitch about the sub battles. Thank you so much. So what happened? Bishop b3, knight goes to f4. Let's go attack. We're going to go attacking, gentlemen. Attack. Um... How do you attack when he's really, really making the stand? Mm. It's gonna be tough. It's not easy. Yeah, because he cannot play g5 because he's gonna grab on f5, right? So, um, I don't know. Maybe knight e6. Maybe I overpressed it a little bit, yeah? Yeah, let's play knight e6. f4. Now we can attack because knight on 6 is definitely better located than on h5 because now we can push all these pawns for victory. Um, g5. Luckily the queen on e8 protects h5 square so h5 is coming. Alright, so who just raided me? I don't see the raid. Um... I see somebody raided me, but I don't see who is it. Cat's chess. My god. Is it the Soviet comrades? My god, comrades. Jesus Christ. You know, you remind me of that movie by Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was called The Red Heat. It was one of the funniest things i ever seen. I mean, that was just ridiculously funny. It was ridiculously funny movie. G4 first. Uh, okay, probably should have played bishop f6. I forgot about this. Yeah, okay, you got me. So, okay, let's grab this um, bishop. It's kind of bad bishop, but why not? Um, 
Knight c5, knight g5 also looks perfectly good, yeah. All right, knight g5 looks good, looks very funky. Grab the pawn, because we're the pawn grabbers. Uh, rook here. Okay, um, can I just grab this thing? I'm curious. I mean, I could have probably grabbed it a long time ago, but I just noticed it. <laughs> I just noticed that I can grab this thing. I didn't realize I could have done it ages ago. Okay, pair of bishops, strong stuff. Looks good. Uh, you're overexcited. Yeah, over, being overexcited is not very healthy. Chill down just a tiny bit and all right, we got it. Finally, we got it. Wait, the challenge is gone. Oh, there is new challenge, but I think it's a different person challenge. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna raid. Uh, we're gonna raid. Who? King's Crusher, right? All right, let's raid King's Crusher. It's been a long time. The guy who made his own name should always be, um, all right, all right, let's trade in King's Crusher, oh my god, I just, um, I just closed my, uh, <coughs> by mistake, chess, chess and King's Crusher, where is he? Uh, James, uh, wait, 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 wait. I lost him. No, I didn't lose him. Okay, we ready? All right, let's go. Cette affaire est plus grave qu'on ne saurait l'imaginer. Comment des nazis ont-ils pu entrer aux États-Unis? La plus grande conspiration de masse de toute notre histoire. Boom. All right. Twenty-seven seconds. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to be a follower for 15 minutes to trade them. All right. Let's try and get this diagonal get away from the.